Okay, so welcome back for some more uh, Digital Devil Saga 2. Just trying to avoid eye contact. Um, let's go back here first and check that I haven't... Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Karma Society divides people into two groups, protect and don't protect. They think of us as food. It seems like the people here do not possess Atma powers. Oh, there's only one way to go. You fought the Karma Society? There's only three of you. St st stay away. Kapala is planning an attack on the Karma Society, but they're all talk. Hmm. I can tell you one of them just by looking at you. What's happening to the world? Before we take you to Cielo, I'd like to have a word with you. Sure. I hope Fred wasn't much trouble. I became his guardian after his father died. Where is Cielo? Well. We thought the society sent him. Your friends nearby. <coughs> what is this? You know, you don't seem artificial. What do you mean? Take a look. The junkyard? Actually, it's called Asura Project. Stage one. It's a VR designed for urban warfare. Huh? What's that mean? You guys, and that world you were in, are programs the Cyber Shaman created for the society. Dude, you seriously need to lay off the booze. The Asura Project. It was designed to develop combat enhancement AI, to be implanted in live soldiers. You were going to be programmed into microchips. Stage one is a coliseum for selecting the most effective AI. It's a purgatory born of wisdom that man stole from God. The war will escalate. God has cursed us all. God? Yes. God. Thirty years ago, at the end of the 20th century, crises erupted worldwide. Mutated pathogens, abnormal weather patterns, collapsed ecosystems, and the QVA syndrome. Historically, a genius always emerges in troubled times. Ten years ago, one such individual found the source of these problems. Jenna Angel. She was part of the International Environmental Stabilization Committee. Oh, it's her. But your hopes and beliefs are utterly worthless. She stated the disasters were caused by data from the sun. Hidden discreetly within its rays, the sun a gigantic body of accumulated data. She said he was there from the beginning, influencing Earth and its development. That places him on God's level.
And what does this god have to do with us? Man is God's accursed son. We use our knowledge to find new ways of killing. The society was formed to survive our tribulation, but the army corrupted it, and you were created. However, knowledge alone cannot create a perfect AI. The Cyber Shaman? You said she created us. A medium between God and man. She is the only one with the ability to extract data from God, the Society's very foundation. Sarah works for the Society? We risked our lives for her. You're saying none of that matters? You can't fight your programming. Sarah cared about us! An artist can feel love for her masterpiece sometimes. Shut up! Calm yourself. Tell me, how did you learn of all this? We have a mole in the society. How can you verify the information's authenticity? This disk of composite data. We received it just before you arrived. A complex electromagnetic wave pattern. Our test subject became a demon like you. And then, of course, there's your existence. God. Shaman. We have to believe. Here's a question. Do you know what happened in the Karma Society five years ago? Would you like to? Colonel Terence E. Beck. He claimed that you had all died, according to Cielo. That is not his face. Back then, he oversaw the Asura Project. He died when God went mad. A man who died in this world claims an AI killed him. Doesn't make sense. You and Varen are supposed to be programs. Something happened that day. Only the Cyber Shaman knows the truth, linking you to the society. Get to the point. What is it you want? Bring us the Cyber Shaman. It's her fault that there are orphans like Fred. But without the Shaman's power, we have no hope. And in exchange? We'll give you the infiltration route and all necessary supplies. Hmm. <laughs> While Cielo remains captive, unacceptable. What? You mentioned a test subject who became like us. We need manpower. You're saying you want us to become monsters? A slip of the tongue. I did not ask you to accompany us. Unless the test subject cannot. You killed him. Is that true? Roland? He, he could have lost control. We had to. This is nothing but coercion. You have no honor. Uh, how dare you slander us? It may be true that we become frightful monsters. However, the people of the junkyard fought for their very survival. I will 
not accept that it was all just an illusion. You were the people of Nirvana. Lupa died in vain. I see. You needn't say anything. We will agree to your terms. Not to help you, but for Sarah's sake and for Fred. Gil! Take care of Cielo. The underground tunnel should take you to a close-up underground block of Karma City. Our informant should be there with further details. You'll be able to access the Karma Society's database from terminals. I heard you need to use it to download Mantra or something. This is pretty valuable, but I'll let you have it. Now hurry up and earn it. <sighs> These guys... A very warm welcome indeed. Of course, it's only natural that they would treat us as monsters and fear us. Yet... This is just... Crap. What do you mean? Not only do you have demon power, but you also have a weakness. I know you're scared of something. So what is it? Electricity? Fire? If I can figure out your weakness, then you won't stand a chance. Hmm. It is only natural for humanity to fear what is unknown to them. A natural yet immature reaction. Nothing unexpected really, once you learn of it. What do you think Heat would say if he heard that? And what about us? What are we supposed to do if it's true? If we cannot find Sarah, they may be desperate enough to harm Cielo. We should do what we can. Whether we like it or not. But it's good that, well, th yeah, so this game is actually clearing up several questions I had since uh, I finished DDS1. It's a little bit um, iffy that you kinda, you're kind of left with questions when you finish the first game. So that pretty much leaves you with that you need to play this game to actually understand what's going on in full. Oh well, I, I guess I'm fine with that. Since I plan to play this game anyway. By using the hacking disk on the Karma Terminal, Mantras became available for download. Finally. Let's go wild! Oh. Huh. Mantra Grid? Might as well check out the tutorial.